When it is stated that connective tissues possess specialized cells, what is meant by that? After all, aren't all cells of the body specialized? Well, yes. However, in, in an epithelial tissue, most cells are not that different from the cells which neighbor them. After all, you know, some in a stratified epithelial may be cuboidal, others be squamous, but they are still very similar. In connective tissues, one cell can be extremely different from its neighbor, having a different function, a different embryological origin, etc. So, for example, in this areolar connective tissue, one can find fibroblasts. Fibroblasts are cells which make collagen. One can find adipocytes, fat cells which store triglycerides for energy. Lymphocytes, which perform an immune function. M macrophages, which perform a different immune function. Mast cells possess granules which, when released, promote inflammation. All of these cells are very, very different, and so therefore connective tissues can be characterized by their specialized cells and the diversity of these cells in many connective tissues. Mast cells can be found in a number of connective tissues, and these have the important role of promoting inflammation. Antibodies can bind to mast cells, and then substances can bind to these antibodies. When this binding occurs, the mast cell then releases its granules, which are full of inflammatory factors. In this way, specific substances result in inflammation, as these uh, inflammatory signals then bring more white blood cells, bring more fluid into the area, etc. Now, because antibodies can be highly specific, there can be differences in what one person uh, reacts to with an inflammatory response compared to that which other people uh, do. Some people may be producing antibodies, say, against grass pollen or pet dander that other people do not. And so mast cells are important in the inflammatory response and can sometimes be a problem in allergies.